Hi YouTube, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today is a part two to a, a previous video that I did quite a few weeks ago. And it was an exchange between Chantel Simone and I Am Courtney. And the video was talking about the passport bros. Chantel Simone is all in favor of the fellas. If you need to go overseas to find your wife, I am behind you 100%. And I am Courtney's stance was, no, we need for them to stay here. You know, who are these men? Who are our future daughters, you know, going to have, you know, husbands to choose from and stuff like that? Well, it gets interesting because even though I agreed with both of them, I agreed more with Chantel Simone because that is my stance as well, which is if the men are not, if upwardly mobile men who are doing it right can't find the, the type of woman that they want, all men are asking for are traditional minded women and what comes along with that. So a couple of weeks ago, and I tried to look for the video and I couldn't find it. I don't know if they've resolved their issue or not. I don't think they have. I, I think I still see a little bit of YouTube beef between these two. Well, Chantel Simone was doing a live stream and she was talking. I wish I had saved that video, you know, so I could post it. But she was talking about, if I remember correctly, women with children you know, wanting, um, you know, men to step up their game and take on them and their children and stuff like that. So as the live stream was going on, I am Courtney paid a, a, one of those super chats or something stating that Chantel Simone basically accused her of deleting babies. That's why she doesn't have children. Now, at the time that I did my original video, I did not know that I Am Courtney was a single mother. I didn't know that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that she is a single mother. So it made complete sense that she would be fighting for the men to stay here. As with a lot of these women on these TikTok and YouTube channels losing their sugar honey iced tea over the men wanting to go elsewhere to give other women protection, provision, and stuff like that. So Chantel Simone was quite taken aback by what I Am Courtney wrote. And what she wrote in the super chat was, you have a an assigned seat at Planned Parenthood. And then she went on to say, your womb is a tomb. So that is implying that Chantel Simone had deleted babies. Whether she has or hasn't, don't know. But I just think that that is such an ugly, slanderous thing to say. And I remember years ago being on this one particular um, website. It was geared towards Black women. And that was typically the go-to insult towards traditional minded black women who either a were traditional minded but weren't married yet or traditional minded and married the implication was yeah you don't have children you don't have proof of children because you deleted them and i just felt that isn't it funny how they say that black women have a higher instance of deleting babies than any other race so isn't it funny how so many black women can be pro that, but also still use it as a slanderous insult. And that's what it was, a slanderous insult. It's an ugly insult. And particularly if you are a woman who never had one and then someone, because they're triggered by what you're saying, that that's how they want to hurt you. And what is it I've said in previous videos Rest in peace to Kevin Samuel, sign language, shame, insults, guilt, and need to be right. And the funny thing is you see so many women resorting to insults 
because they don't like what you're saying. They can't come at you with, well, you know what? I don't agree with you because blah, 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 whatever. Instead, if they don't have anything to rebut, to use as a rebuttal, they attack you instead. So I was quite disappointed in I am Courtney for saying such a thing because perhaps she's done that and she's projecting. And I had a feeling that a lot of black women who leveled that insult at other black women, that has been their story. So they assume that all black women are irresponsible sexually. A lot of black women that I have found since being online, since being in different forums and stuff, they promote, I mean, heavily promote the loose lifestyle. This was before I even heard the term 304 and I think it's been around for a while, but it wasn't until I started, you know, visiting other creator sites that I, you know, found out what a 304 was. So you have a lot of women who glorify that lifestyle. You have a lot of women who got pregnant by, it was, it was an irresponsible situation. They were in a situationship. They were in, um, they thought they were in love, you know, and I've already done the video on what baby mamas don't tell you about how they became a single mother, because a lot of them are not being truthful or honest. You see my light flickering. We're having a kind of an ice storm around here. So, so, um, so that was my video for today. I just thought that that was so ugly for her to say such a thing. And you could tell that uh, Chantel Simone was very surprised. She was like, what? You know, she couldn't even believe that I am Courtney was saying such a thing to her. So um, I'm going to post this video without the link. But if I come across it, I will link it. So that was my topic for today. I hope everyone is doing well. Please like, subscribe, check out my other videos before you do that. Make sure we vibe and I will talk to you later. Bye.